Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is a thrift haul. This is from three different locations. First 20 or so items is from a new thrift store to me that was really fun. I'll pop up a couple pictures here. They, it was a old fire station where they still had some old fire trucks inside and they just put clothing kind of all around the fire trucks on racks, on tables. And that was a lot of fun. Uh, I think the average cost of goods there was about just under $3, which is great. And then I went to the Goodwill bins for one rotation. So I got some shoes, a bag, the bag already sold. Um, and then I stopped by another thrift store that I've been to before and got some great stuff there too. So let's just jump into here. I'm going to start with the stuff from the fire station. Um, I know some people ask me on Instagram, oh my gosh, tell me the location. I don't share locations that I go to for one for safety to, uh, these are places I hope to go back to. So, um, all I can say is I do like trying out new thrift stores, new areas. Maybe that's because I have to drive so far. I don't know. Um, but I definitely don't have any routine as far as thrift stores. And, um, I was going to a new one and stumbled across this one and was really excited. So let's just pick out a few items. This is equipment femme. I think I found two from this brand. I'm assuming it's the same person. This is just a little sleeveless button front shirt. It's got a heart print on it, which is adorable. And uh, I think I, I'm expecting probably about 30 for that one. This is a linen equipment femme. So it's the same brand, same size, sleeveless, just a different material. This actually doesn't have the material tag that was cut out, but it's 100% linen, <laughs> I can tell. So uh, this one did have a very faint spot that I couldn't get out. Um, you probably won't even see it. It's very, very tiny, but I just disclosed that I'm still hoping for, you know, maybe 25 for that one. This is Joie. They had really good pricing here. So, you know, this is kind of that pricing two to $3 that I would get at the bins or on average at a dollar a day. This is just a really adorable little tank top, kind of a higher neck. And it's got this little cutout at the back of the upper back. And I just thought it was a really great basic. I like the stripes going the side, you know, diagonal. So with this one, this brand doesn't bring in much for me. I'm hoping maybe 20 to 25 for that. This is Lilka, which is an anthropology brand. And this is a size small. It's just a little summer dress. Um, it's got a floral print on it. It's got some kind of um, ruching right at the waist, which is kind of flattering in that section. So the comps on this weren't that great. I might only get about 20 for that, but I think it's a great little summer basic. Here's another anthropology item. This one actually says anthro on it. This is a medium petite. I don't really mind too much. I think it's a really great basic style that's still, in, you know, still popular. Um, it's got the two front pockets, the contrasting stripes. And I think this is really cute with jeans or shorts. So with this one, I'll probably aim for 18 to 20 for that. There were a couple men's items that I picked up. None of it's in order. Uh, this is a Lucky brand. It's a linen blend shirt. This is a little bit on the shorter side for a men's. I actually was kind of like, is this women's? Women's uh, buttons sometimes go both ways. I've looked at my listings before and multiple brands kind of go both ways. Um, CP Shades goes the way of men's. Um, I can't remember the other brand that does that as well, but my lucky brand items, the men's are consistently on one side and women's on the other. So this is a men's shirt, although I think a, a woman could wear it, but uh, with this, I'll probably only get 15 to 18. This is a cycling vest, a really great cycling vest because the, the bright colors mean that cars can see you out, out on the road. So you hopefully won't get hit. It's just full zip. Pearl Zumi is a very popular, it's not upscale by any means. It's just a consistent cycling brand. I think it's kind of mid range, um, low to mid range. So with this, I'm, there's a couple flaws, a couple marks. When you deal with a lot of oil on your bikes um, and chains coming off of your bike, sometimes you get that black, those black marks on your cycling clothes. So if you see that, it's usually not a huge deterrent for me to pick it up. Um, it usually doesn't come out for me. <laughs> Here's, here's some more black stuff. I don't know if you can see, but anyways, this is a men's size extra large, which is why I picked it up. It's a great basic. I'm still hoping for possibly about 25. Here's another anthropology top. This one won't bring in much, but I did think it was just kind of a cute little boho 
knit top. It's got kind of the ribbed effect on the sleeves. And then just that front part has a little bit of a peasant look to it. Uh, this is a size small, just cotton blend. And I'm hoping only probably about 18 to 20 for that. This one I was really tempted to keep and I was like, no, I should sell it. And then when I list or when I went to go photograph it, there was a small hole and I'm like, well, I guess I'm keeping it because I won't get that much if there is. This is a free people movement. It's a sleeveless. You can see right here, it's got these really deep, almost like a muscle tank. It's really, you know, deep sleeves um, or armholes. So free people movement doesn't bring in a lot of money for me, but I also don't find it all that much. So this is a size large, it's just a gray basic. So I do a lot of hiking, I do yoga, um, I do a lot of walks with the dog, and so I do wear a lot of athletic wear. So I thought this would be good to add to my mix. If I were to sell it, if it didn't have the hole, I would probably only get 20 to 25. It's a little like worn looking. So this is equipment, which is equipment farm. It's just a little skirt pencil skirt. It's a wool blend. I think there's some mohair in here. Um, this probably won't get too much skirts, career skirts, but this brand, you know, it's probably retailed for close to $300. It does have a leather trim right here. Since I'm aware it's not in perfect condition, but it's a great little basic, especially for fall winter. So I'm still hoping for, you know, maybe $30 for that. I just don't think it's going to sell quickly. This is CP Shades, and that's kind of an older CP Shades tag, but this is a button front shirt, a little oversized. It is a silk, but it's kind of a textured silk, raw silk. And uh, I love picking up CP Shades. I'm expecting probably about 30 to 35 for this. This was a size medium. I honestly didn't know what this was, but I have picked up and sold this brand quite a few times. It's one of the higher end H&M lines which is in other stories um it's a size six us six but i put it on my US size six mannequin and it definitely seemed like i feel like this would be a really good pregnancy dress <laughs> although i know nothing about that um but it was just very like had a lot of room right around the waist because it's a strapless dress so this goes around the bodice and then right here it has just a lot of give so i feel like this would be an adorable pregnancy dress um but yeah, so it just, it seemed a little oversized, but if you pulled too hard, then the buttons, like if you, it, it wouldn't go, I don't think it would fit me because the buttons would just, you know, gape open. So yeah, just a different style, but this is kind of a good little 4th of July dress with a little gingham print and um, it's a little heavier though. So we'll see. This is cloth and stone size medium. This is blue with white stripes, a really great basic. A little bit of that nautical summer flair and lightweight so you know you could roll up the sleeves and still wear it in summer um with the and other stories i'm expecting probably not much it's just an odd fit so maybe twenty dollars the cloth and stone uh i usually sell those anywhere from 20 to 30 so i'm just gonna say probably right around 25. here's another men's item i don't pick up a lot of harley the reason i pick this up is it's a 2xl it's also not just a basic t-shirt Although some basic t-shirts by Harley can do well, I don't know the difference. It's not my it's not my favorite thing to pick up. I see them a lot at yard sales in my area and they're usually asking for way too much. <laughs> so um, this is a button front short sleeve. It's got, it's not embroidered, it's just printed on the back. But size, kind of different for what I find with Harley stuff and I'm still only probably expecting maybe 20, 25, hopefully 25. This is a new with tags anthropology. So this retailed for $118. This is the Saturday Sunday line. I did find this dress. It's kind of like a tie dye um, dress with kind of a drop waist. So just a nice little casual summer dress size medium. And the comps on this actually look pretty decent as when it was new with tags. So I started this a little high. This is not a brand I do particularly well with, with anthropology, um, but because it does have the by anthropology, meaning it's a newer style, the new with tags and the original price being 118, I think I started this at like 55 or something, and I'm hoping for about 40 to 45. All right, this is a pair of Vince size medium. 
Um, just a nice stretch, kind of career pant. They are kind of a slim, slim leg, um, but a fitted style. I picked up these quite a few times. I, I think I just sold one, but these are brown, which I wasn't quite sure about, but because it was so cheap there, and these probably did retail for pretty high, they're in good shape. And um, I do think it's a really great career pants. So we'll see, probably about 25 is what I'm expecting. Maybe down to 20 if it sits too long. This was exciting. <laughs> Good American plus size new with tags. Oh, I can't believe it. Uh, so they're a size 22, they're the good legs. And it doesn't have the price, but it still has this little Good American tag. Um, and these are, they do have the split on both sides of the front of the pant leg. They're kind of um, an ankle or cropped length. They're high rise and awesome. So with these, I started them pretty high. I think retail, they, they go for a couple hundred. Um, so I think I started these right around 90, 99, something around there. Um, and I'm expecting probably, I think I started, maybe I started a little lower. Anyways, I think I'm probably expecting about anywhere from 60 to 80 for those there aren't a lot in that size in that style available so all right this is a little summer dress it's an aster or astr uh, this is a size large it is kind of a boutique brand that i find runs a little bit small so uh, but i just like the kind of neon print it also has some cutouts on the back so it's got like kind of a racer back look with the sheer panel up here and then some cutouts right here so this is pretty adorable um, I'm, but that brand doesn't get much for me. So probably 20 to 25. This was flawed. I was just so surprised by this thrift store. So I just started just picking stuff up. They didn't have carts. They had little hand things and I just started filling those up and they were super nice. They kept letting me put a new, new full cart right in front. So I think I got about 25 items there. Um, but this is anthropology Ed May and Esselet. It's just a silk blouse. It's just got the paisley print, um, but there is some staining under the arms. It's hard to see, but under the light, that's where I saw it. And then there was also some staining right at the neckline. And some people are okay washing silk. I'll just sell it as is. This will probably only cost a couple dollars there. And um, it was just, you know, sometimes I'd make those mistakes, but I don't think I got too many flat items here. That one maybe. All right, Wild Fox, size medium. Just a sweatshirt. The logo is kind of cracking, but I think that's just kind of the style. Also, Wild Fox is known for their kind of pilled sweatshirts. Um, I try to note that now because I just feel like it's known if you know the brand, but someone actually returned an item that was, um, they didn't know that's the style. They thought it was actually just used. <laughs> so now I try and sometimes I forget. Anyways, it does have a, a small mark on the sleeve. So it's not in perfect condition, but I think it's a cute style. 83, I was born in 82. So if you are 38 or 39 and you were born in 83, I think that would be a really cute sweater. But anyways, uh, with this, I'll probably only get 20 to 25 because it does have a couple marks, small marks. All right, I haven't picked up this brand in a while. I've been told multiple ways of how to pronounce it. I think, I can't remember who it was, someone actually went to Spain and had the associate say it correctly. I wanna say it was maybe Lori Tata. Um, I could be wrong, but anyways, it's a Spanish brand. It doesn't get all that much for me for most pieces. So this is just a lightweight long sleeve dress with this print. Um, I personally don't like dresses or tops where it just has the print on one side. I don't know, it just screams like two pieces of fabric put together, but it is a nice little lightweight dress with, you know, you could run errands in, um, that type of thing. So I'm probably only expecting 20 to 25 for this, but we'll see. These I picked up knowing they weren't in the bus condition um, and they didn't have the size, but I knew they were a plus size. It's Eileen Fisher, it's the woman line, which is their plus size. Um, but these are a pair of linen pants, kind of with some cargo pants. They're cropped, they're straight leg. A really great basic for someone who just loves this brand. They also have elastic waist with the drawstring. But if you can see, the waistband is kind of a different color. It's kind of discolored a little bit, almost like a red tone. Um, also, the drawstring, this side, the little metal part came off, and so it's just kind of 
it's kind of coming apart right there. It's completely usable as is. Someone could probably repair that, um, but there's no size on this. I did compare it to a couple pairs of pants where people had measurements. It looks like this is approximately 2X. So that is how I labeled it with measurements laid flat. But I picked them up knowing I probably will only get 20 to 25. If these were in good condition, I'd expect probably 45, 50. So, um, but I do like picking up Eileen Fisher plus size, so. All right, this is my first time picking up this brand. And I heard about, I've heard, I've seen it on Instagram a couple times by some trendy Poshmark sellers. And I think I've seen it in a couple YouTube videos. And then someone was telling me, I sent a picture of this to Amber and I said, is this, um, is this one of the good Levi's brands for men? And she said, yeah, I think there's a guy that uh, focuses on men's clothing on eBay and talks a lot about that. His channel name is Thrift Alive. I haven't watched his videos in a while, but she was saying that he had just recently mentioned the Levi's 560s and um, used data to show that they were good sellers. So the comps are really all over the place. Now I think the color matters, but I guess that these have been maybe discontinued by Levi's and they're just some loyal fans. They're a comfort fit, they're a tapered leg, and some women are wearing them. These are 32-32 in size. Um, some women are wearing the men's, some men, these are just their favorite pair of jeans. Uh, I kind of was expecting it to be a little bit higher and the comps are really only showing, the comps are between 25 to 50. Um, so we'll give them a shot. I didn't pay much for them. They seem to be in good condition, a good medium wash, which I think is probably desirable. Um, and they're not like heavily distressed. Obviously someone could do that if they wanted, but we'll give these a shot. Um, and if they sell quickly, I might pick them up again. I might keep an eye out for them. So, all right. So this is the last item at the fire station. Um, this is XCVI. It's the wearables line. And it's new with tags, so this is a size medium. And I did find the style of these pants. They are kind of a wide leg casual pant. Uh, most of the stuff has, list, has been listed about a week ago, so I, I have no memory. But uh, these are new with tags. I actually started these, I think about 44, because new with tags, a number of them had sold right around 35 mark or up to 40. So I'm expecting about 35 for those. And yeah, all right, so I did go by the bins and I got some shoes, which I was excited about. I also got a bag, which I almost, and this already sold. Um, and then I'll jump into, I didn't find much clothing there. I, I have really been striking out at the bins. Not, I've had some good days, but I've had days where I just walk out after a rotation with just like two items and it's just, I don't know. So I guess it's, it's always hit or miss. Anyways, this was in a bin with the shoes and this was, surprising to me. I knew it was quality, but it was also kind of, there were some marks. There's um, this metal part that's kind of coming out the side. You can see down here some marks. I did not want to put any work into this. This is a coach. I can't remember what year I looked up the Creed. Um, a little hard to read, but there's the Creed inside. So you can actually look up the numbers to determine approximately when this was made. And I do believe this was a vintage coach. I didn't know how to price it. Coach is not my favorite thing to pick up in general, but vintage coach I will pick up because it's fun to learn about and um, some of them can do okay. So I put this up on auction and it just sold a day or two ago and um, someone bought this for $49.99. Now, could I have gotten more and waited for a different buyer? Yes, it's just kind of bulky and I buying this at the bins, this probably weighs about four pounds. So I probably paid about $8, you know, eight to $10 for this in weight, but I wiped it up. I didn't really do much. I showed the, the signs of wear and um, I think it's a really great career bag. So you could actually fit a small laptop like my laptop fits in here. So anyways, I'm glad this is sold. I'm glad I took a chance on it and people passed up on it in the bins, which is totally fine by me. All right, I'm gonna pull out the ones from the bins. All right, so this is Hobo. This is, I believe, the Lauren wallet, if I remember correctly. I've sold this wallet a number of times. My sisters own this wallet. Um, but here is Hobo. This is a woman, women-owned brand. I have a wallet by Hobo, just like the same style. Um, this actually has some separation between the leather and the metal part right here. 
So I just noted it. So it's not in perfect condition, but it's also not in bad condition. It's just that one little flaw, hot pink. I'm still expecting maybe about $40 for this um, because people who love this, this probably retails, the lower end probably retails for close to 200. And, um, you know, with that minor separation and some, you know, light signs of wear on the corners, I think it's still a great wallet. So I got these Fry boots at the bins or booties. Uh, I did find the style of this. There's Fry, if you can see in there. I'm trying to shift the lighting. Um, they were pretty dingy. I wiped them up and they still have some, you know, marks on the wood part. So they're not in perfect condition, but a lot of people have these listed for a hundred plus. I didn't go that high because the comps were not showing that it was going to sell for that much. So sometimes I'm just amazed at how, why people choose. Maybe it's saying they paid for it retail and so they just shoot high. But um, these are, oh, that's what it is. It's the Marta ankle boot. So anyways, I'm expecting probably about $50 for these, I believe. 50 or 60. I think I priced it about 70 something. So these are Bionic. which I do like picking up. These are an adorable little flat. The style of this one, I thought it was written in here. Yeah, the Lydia. And some light signs of wear, but not too bad. These are a size seven. Sorry, I didn't say the size of the fry boots. The fry boots are eight and a half. These are a seven and some light signs of wear, but nothing major. I'm expecting about 35, maybe 40 for these. All right, I think this is, yeah, this is the last one I got from the bins. I did get a pair of shoes at the other store later that day, but these are just an adorable little wedge. You can see this kind of cutout right here. The bottom of them don't look like they've been worn much. This is a brand that is either sometimes sold at Anthropology or I don't think it's exclusive. I think they sell direct as well. Um, but I think it's pronounced Subo, so the T is silent. This is a size nine and a half. And I think they're absolutely adorable. The little ankle strap, the little wood wedge with that cutout is really adorable and they're in good condition. So mixed comps on these as well. I think I'm aiming for about 30 to 40 for these. Probably 30, 35. All right. So I think that that's from the bins. I think I got one or two tops in here. I'll try and remember which one, but we still have this bag. Um, at the other store, I did pick up a pair of shoes, which is a new brand to me. Um, very tempting to keep these because they are my size, but I don't, if I were in my previous career jobs, I wore a lot of flats, so I would probably keep them. All right. This is going to be really hard to show. I might just write it on the screen because I won't, I won't know how to pronounce it, but, um, they are a rose gold loafer. You can see some creasing, so they have been worn, but nothing major. These are um, original, made in Mexico, size eight and a half, and I, they just feel well made. There's some, you know, minor scuffs, but they just feel well made. There's not much wear to the heel, and when I looked them up, surprisingly, I'm aiming for forty to fifty dollars for these, probably forty to forty-five dollars for these, um, and I couldn't find any rose gold, so I think these are absolutely adorable. Though they're well made, and it's kind of a good brand. So, all right. This is a new to me brand, which is Simon Miller. This is a sweatshirt and it's kind of a sage green gray kind of color or light sage green, uh, just a crew neck. This is actually a pretty expensive LA brand. Um, and there was a spot on here when I got it, but I still decided to pick it up. I thought it looked a little bit like a spot that I could get out. And I did. So uh, there was a small other spot somewhere, like on the back of a shoulder, that um, I did not get out, that I didn't really notice until then. But anyways, it's a new to me brand. I'm actually expecting for just a basic crew neck. I think this probably retailed for a couple hundred dollars to two fifty. And um, on the resale market, it looks like I should be able to get somewhere between thirty to forty, maybe. So that's great. This I picked up more for style. Um, I don't think the brand does all that well. However, I didn't do that much research. The tag on here says this retailed for 145. 
just, I don't know. I just picked it up because this little beading up top, it's like little candies, you know, like at a candy store, like taffy and little pinwheel. And anyway, so I thought that was really cute. It's a size extra large, although I think it runs a little small or you would, you know, it would be fitted if it was on someone XL based off of the measurements. But um, yeah, I just, I thought it was cute and it was on sale and why not? Why not give it a shot? So I think I priced that. I think I'm expecting 30 to 35 for that because it's new with tags. So we'll see. All right. Hawks. This is, I believe, I think this is Urban Outfitters, not Anthropology. Um, I could be wrong. <laughs> it's been a while since I picked up Hawks, but these are just a pair of shorts, kind of a retro flair to them. I like the stripes. There is a very faint mark um, right here on the back pocket stripe. But other than that, they're an adorable little style. These are a size six and I, yeah, I'm expecting probably about 25 to 30. So a pair of Marmot, I'm really tempted to keep these for hiking, but orange hiking shorts, women's size 10. And I should be able to get about 25 for these. This is a pair of Prana shorts and another pair of hiking shorts. I do like picking up shorts because they're so easy to photograph and they're usually pretty small. Uh, so they take up less room. They're easy to fold for packaging, all of that stuff. But I actually just don't find that many shorts I like. So I was glad to pick up a few this day. But these are size four, probably about 25 is what I'm expecting for these. They're in really good condition. So, all right, so this is the second time I found this brand and I just recently found it and sold it. So this is my second time. The other, side, the other pair was also size 31 or 32. These are size 32, which is awesome. Um, what is that equivalent to? 14 approximately. So this is the Carolyn 10 inch baby boot is the style. And it's got this exposed button fly, high rise, and then it's an it's a cropped, and then it's a boot cut cropped with this split hem, and then this just decorative button accents. It's not supposed to be buttoned down it, um, I don't think. But I just took a picture of it like this, so they knew it was split. And so I'm hoping. The comps for this exact style seem to do pretty well. So I aimed high and hoping for about 60 to 70 for, for these. Here's a pair of Reformation jeans. I do not usually pick up Reformation jeans. I'll leave them behind. Or I should say I've left them behind a couple times because the comps aren't great. But this is a faded black distress knee um, cropped raw hem and kind of a mid to high rise. So I thought that they were a really great style. The style on this is the Camille jean. And when I looked at the stock photos of other people's listings, um, they seemed a lot longer. It seemed like an ankle length versus a cropped. So I think these may have been cut by someone, I think, because these don't seem like they would be as long. Um, so I just noted that in the description, but just a trendier style. So I'm hoping for probably about 35 to 40 for those, I think. This is a new to me brand. It's an expensive swim brand and the tag is very unassuming. <laughs> like I don't, I don't know, but it's linen and I thought it was a shirt, but it's actually a shirt dress. It's a shirt dress cover up for the beach. It has roll tab sleeves. It's still listed on their website for $250 in the same color, same style. Um, this is a U.S. size six. And so I, I aimed high. Very mixed comps for this brand, but I started this at 99, which is more than 50% off. And I'm hoping for, you know, 65 to 75 for that. This is a good pickup, I think. Um, it's Stop Staring, which is kind of a pinup retro style modern day brand. It's a size XL, and which is, I usually only find this, this brand in size small, and they're very, very fitted style, but it's just a little sheath dress and it's green. So if I was into a pinup culture, this would be my ideal dress, but um, kind of a knee length 
and I think I started this a little higher than I normally do because it's harder to find this in a size XL, at least in my experience. So I'm hoping for about 45, maybe 40 if it waits, if it sits too long, but we'll see. All right, he, these two, hmm, I probably shouldn't have picked up, not even gonna lie. This is three dots. I used to have decent luck with this brand and now I'm just noticing, I, don't, I think it's oversaturated. It's maybe just on sale at a lot of places, but I just liked this because it had these sleeves with this sheer stripe down the side. So it would basically be a sheer stripe all the way down. Um, but there's no size on this and it's just a black tee. So a knit tee, I'm probably not gonna get much for this, maybe 12 to 15. I'm trying to pick up summer. So that's why I picked up this one. I do like the pastels. I think it's a little bit more of that, you know, 80s vibe. <laughs> kind of reminds me of my childhood. But uh, I did like the print. It has a waist tie. It's got a button back accent, but size six, probably only get, you know, 15 for this, 15 to 18 at best. It's cute. It's just, yeah. I don't know why I picked this up. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't know what this is. If this is, uh, it's Moo Moo Mellow. So I don't know if this is their loungewear or if, yeah. I think this would actually be really cute with a pair of shorts, like 4th of July, to put over your swimsuit. So you could have the swimsuit under and then when you have your top on, it looks like you're still wearing it. Um, so I think that's really cute. But I mean, I, it's not my style. I just think someone else could rock it. But anyways, it's a size small, so it's oversized and just playful and fun. With this, I'm probably only expecting about 20. Here's another XCVI. And it's a size extra large, but it's definitely not oversized. Um, it's just a lightweight jacket, snap. I think it's a snap. No, button front. So it just has a little bit of ruching on the sleeve. So it's a three fourth length sleeve, but it's a great little basic and kind of a three season basic. So um, with that one, I'll probably only get 20 to 25. Some XCVI does really well for me, uh, but most of it's between 20 to 25. Um, for a lot of items. All right, another CP Shades. This is a pink linen, light pink linen. Um, I believe this is a size medium. And I should be able to get about 35, about 35 for this. Another CP Shades. Um, CP Shades is under the word shirt, so that's just a different line of theirs. This is a silk cotton blend. It's kind of the chartreuse color. I believe this is also a size medium. Yeah, and so I do like that. Probably about 30 to 35 for that one. This is cloth and stone, size small. I sold this exact top a number of times, so it's just a little chambray. On the back, it has a split back at the very bottom, if you can see right there. Just comfy, cozy, easy to wear, probably about 25 for that. I have sold this dress before, same size, and it's adorable. It's a short sleeve velvet shift dress, and it's got these front pockets, kind of deep pockets, and just easy, casual. You could dress it up or down but I think it's just fun with that blue velvet. So I can't remember how much I sold it for before, um, but I think I'm expecting about 25 to 30 for that. I think I have a couple Lululemon items in here. This is a Swiftly tank. Um, so you can see the kind of Lululemon logo on the front, and then there's the Lululemon there. This has the size on the, on the inside of the, waist area, so it's a size eight, and I'm expecting about 25 for this. Swiftly is one of their more common tees, tanks, that type of stuff. This is a cabbie. Uh, this is an older tag of cabbie, but it was new with tags. It is cabbie outlet. Um, purchased by the Bergen box. I'm not sure what that is. But cabbie, size small. I did find the style of this. I just thought it was really just a cute little summer top. Probably only get about 20, 22 maybe for that. This one I thought was adorable. 
Um, just a great spring summer one. I don't know this brand, Belle by Kim Gravel. Size large, just a fun little, someone on their listing said this was a Magnolia print, but just kind of boho, you know, lightweight. It's actually lined, so it's two layers on the top, but absolutely love it. I think it's really great. I'm expecting about 25 for that. Still have some good items in here. This is a new with tags, Eloquy, and I absolutely love this dress. It's plus size brand, it's size 20. The only tag attached is this return tag by the brand. But, oh, I love this. I love black lace, it's my absolute favorite. But it's this maxi dress with the black lace all the way down and then the pleating on the front. Oh, absolutely love this. So I shot high for this. I think I started this around 69 and I'm expecting over 50 for this. 50 to 60. We'll see, probably 50 to 55. This was a good pickup. Um, it's Lululemon. It's a trench coat, like a rain trench coat. And it has, it's full zip down the front. And then it also on the sides, on each side, has a full zip as well, or like a zip halfway down the side. Um, it has a way to cinch the waist from the inside just on the back, so you can make it a little bit more fitted. I did find the name of this, and I've already forgotten, but so there's a Lululemon tag right here. And then I did find the size dot somewhere, it's a medium, which, when I found the stock photo for this, it was a woman, very short hair though, wearing it. Um, and usually small, medium, large is men's in Lululemon, but I have had a couple outliers. So um, here's another logo. It's just hard to see because it's black on black. But yeah, this retailed for probably close to 300, I believe. And there's a couple listed for right around 200. I think I started buying at 149 or something right around 150. I think. <laughs> so it might not uh, sell right away, but I was really excited to find it. So, all right. I do like picking up tactical stuff, tactical wear, uh, especially this season when people are going hunting, camping, just fishing out and about a little bit more. This is a 2XL, which is men's 2XL. It's just a shirt. It has venting on the back, which is a great keyword. Um, tactical is, means usually there's a lot of pockets for things like knives and, um, you know, guns and stuff like that. Again, it's kind of more of an outdoor wear type of thing, but I didn't recognize this brand, 511 Tactical Series. I only paid a couple dollars for it. I might only get 20 to 25, but yeah, I think it, I think I just like picking up that stuff. Kind of goes with my lifestyle. All right. This is a tank, a knit tank by Lululemon. This one, the photos look like they tied this now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, it's like they, let's see if I can do it how I saw them on the stock photo. It, it, it seemed, I didn't know if it was just a split back or if it was supposed to be worn like this, but the, so it's just kind of basic knit tank. And then on the back, they had this kind of tie effect. I didn't take photos of it that way, but anyways, um, either way you wear it, I think it would be really cute. I do like the fact that it's knit. The logo for Lululemon is the kind of stitched on metal one, sometimes that I see. And no size on this, so I approximated probably about size two or four, I think. A couple more items. This is a Rails flannel. Size large, which I have a hard time finding rails in large. Tending to keep, because this is the Hunter, it's kind of their soft, more popular style. I might keep it, because it is pilled quite a bit. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see all the pilling. And I'm not gonna depill it, I'm just gonna sell as is. Maybe this side's a little easier to see some pilling. Kind of where the arm would rub up against is where the pilling is. Uh, but it's still a great popular shirt. I'm still expecting about 25 for that just because the, the large I have a hard time finding. This is new to me brand, Lounge, the white company. The feeling of this just feels absolutely fantastic. It's a merino wool, 
almost feels like a cashmere. It's super soft, but it just says Sunday on the front. It does run a little bit small. This is a size medium and it just feels like it actually would be better for a size small. But, um, and I just noted that, but I thought it was adorable. And the comps for that brand in the UK, so it must, I think it must be a UK brand, do really well, but they do have a US website. It just seemed like all the comps on eBay were sold from the UK and some of them were, you know, around that $50 mark, but I'm not sure. I'll probably get, um, I think I aimed a little bit high, but probably right around 25 to 30. All right, this is a little pullover, like a yoga pullover. It has a cutout on the back. This is, is it Onzi? Onzi? Um, and their stuff, a lot of it is one size fits most. So I thought it was kind of adorable. The string at the neckline I didn't notice is gone. And there are, there are a couple little small pulls. So I probably won't, will only get, I don't know, maybe 15 for this. Here's another Lululemon tank. This is kind of a striped, it's kind of a blue, gray, black. I'm not really sure. The lining's a little off but it's just a racer back. Um, I tried this on and around the waist, it worked a little bit, but um, it was a little too fitted right here. So I would say this is probably a size eight, maybe six if you wanted it a little bit looser, but it does have some splits on the side. It's got the logo on the back and it's got some pilling. So I'm probably only expecting about maybe 18 to 20 for that. This is a vintage, Angaro, Emmanuel Angaro, which I've sold. I sold one of his vintage dresses for like $250 a while ago. And um, so some of the vintage Angaro pieces can do really well. This is Main Italy, size eight. Just a really fun little vintage blouse. It's button front, it's got shoulder pads. Absolutely adorable. Very, it screams 80s. Um, so with this one, I'm expecting maybe 25 to 30. All right. Last item. I believe this brand is sometimes sold at, um, Anthropology, which is Marrakesh. It's just a utility jacket. The same one like this sold for about 25, 30 recently. Um, it has pockets, it has belt loops, but none of the other ones that I found a couple of the other listings that was the same jacket didn't have belts include included. So I think it's just a looks thing, but this one did have a small spot on the back of two small spots around the back of a sleeve. So I'm not sure what that is. I couldn't get it out. It's right at the back, like right here. So I don't think it would be very obvious, but still hoping for maybe about 25 for this. So that is it. It was, this is one day for me in LA at three different places. Um, I'll definitely check out the fire station place again, maybe give them a month to see what kind of donations they get in again. And yeah, I just think if you are bored with the same stores that you have, or if you're frustrated by pricing, um, you know, take some time to explore some new stores. For me, it's really beneficial to keep me in the know of what's going on. Um, but yeah, I think it's fun. So anyways, hit the thumbs up if you liked this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.